Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Chroma Squad. I've had this game for months, and it just came out like a day or two ago, or maybe it comes out in a day or two, I don't even know. And it's actually one of my biggest regrets that I didn't actually hop on this sooner, because this game, from what I can tell, is awesome. It's really stupid, and that's the best part of it. It's effectively a Sentai show simulator, I think. You guys got to tell me if it's uh, particularly la uh, loud or not. We're going to go with interesting. I maybe can like loop back around and do challenging or something like that, but it's a tactical it's a tactical RPG and uh, it looks awesome. I, I was watching Birdcatcher playing it and I was like, I need to get on this because I own it. Anyway, once upon a time at a TV studio is studio just like any other. I think this music it's casual. Super Rangers, it's time for all stuntmen to get on the scene. Hurry up! Okay, so it looks like we've got the generic Power Rangers. I like the design for pixel art people. Alright, and where are the minions? Oh, it's like a uh, standard original Power Rangers villains, kind of, sort of. I like this. Right, there we go. We're all set up for this part. Effects will come later. I guess we're lacking in some story, huh? Yeah, but Dr. M Maya, me, uh, doesn't enjoy it that much. This is getting really boring. I'm kind of tired of... Stop talking while we're recording. Battle them, or should I remind you? That you may click to either walk or choose monsters you want to attack. Okay, so de defeat three monsters. It's so a squad's turn. Alright, ooh, whoa, this is like, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics see. Okay, they can move diagonally, too. Perfect! Beat them to death! Perfect. Probably should have actually moved this. Can you, can you make that? I, th I think they can attack diagonally. Perfect! Man, I love the interface here. It's very simple. It's, it's got that, like, really nice retro feel to it. Oh, can you move a second time around? Or can it, can you do it? Nope. Oh, I see, so you have two AP. And... You, you have to move in at specific sections. Well, let's just surround him. Honestly, probably should have just waited, but still, it doesn't bother me that much. Oh, they knocked me back. This is gonna... This is definitely gonna take some more uh, finesse once we get further in, but you know what? Whatever. Oh, yeah, you can even see the AP. It's a little... It's the two little uh, square thing. Ah, shoot. That's my ally. He's just colored the same as them. I may or may not be a racist. All right, Destructor, director's instructions completed. Extra points or something. Anyway, I like how they pose too. It's great. The 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 pixel art and the animation. I mean, it's very. I, it's generally fairly simplistic, but it works well. I like it. And like you can see a lot of stuff going into this too. Okay, this is one of the best episodes I've seen so far in the season. Psst, he always says that as long as we are defeating the monsters really easily. I heard you. Now I want some acrobatics. We can add some explosions to them later. What kind of? Let me finish talking! Jeez. You should use the teamwork maneuver to toss people around so they can move farther. If you still don't get a word I said, use teamwork, then click on the yellow cells. Get in position. Okay. We're ready. <laughs> we get more, more little goo man. Go, go, Power Rangers. Yeah, no. I, 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 was, I was leery on starting this one, despite the fact that, you know, I've had this. But, you know what? More series. Why not? Ready, uh, acrobatic maneuvers. So, first and foremost, can I teamwork? Teamwork. Yeah, yellow cells. Alright, so let's teamwork him. Teamwork him? Teamwork acrobatics. Fudz. I don't know how to teamwork. How do I teamwork? Oh, I see. You, to you toss them. Okay, that makes sense. I got this. I like this. This is cool. It's a it's a nice way of adding extra maneuverability to, to a tactical RPG. Oh, he's still got a move in. What a jerk. Alright, well, I swear I've already finished the team acrobatics, but you know what? Whatever. That's, uh... Just move there, just beat him up. Get pink? Nope, we're not gonna get pink. Eh, teamwork it up. 
Everybody, teamwork forever. Teamwork. 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 Have I completed the objectives? I have no idea. Either way. Uh, so we start with yellow. Let's just go beat this clan up. I think... Oh, hey, you can just click straight on them. That's perfect. We got the two team acrobatics. I was wondering if I got extra points for it. Cut. Another perfect scene. Be glad I'm here to tell you what to do all this time. Oh, boy. Now, show the audience some more teamwork. Yay, teamwork. You know how it works. Attack a minion. Then so uh, when someone is using the teamwork next to it. I trust you guys won't hurt me. I perform a team attack with two squad members. So, let's move you in. And teamwork. Here's the question. Is that going to work? You know what? It's probably not. Come to think of it. Teamwork. More teamwork. Triplet. Oh, it does work. All right, so diagonals are actually very important here. Right, unfortunately, I'm going to miss the bus on uh, teamwork with uh, pink. Well, pink, you can just stand there and look happy. Let's just move in. Who cares? I should see if I can do, like, a quadruple attack. So let's move you all the way around here. I could actually do a quintuple. Full team! All of the team! All of the teamwork! Chroma power! Oh, whoa! This is different. So this is what happens when we have all five people doing it. So I just, we just Zordon the shit out of that guy. I guess it's not exactly Zordon, but whatever! Don't even care! Uh, let's see, what is this game called again? Chroma Squad. Uh, so, there we go. Great job. Keep- Oh, I was supposed to only do it with two team members. So because I went above and beyond, it actually didn't give me the extra bonus. Well, that's dumb. Anyway, uh, great job. Keep it at that. I'm loving this. Move now, so the boss can teleport into the set. Where's that big girl in the monster suit? Actually teleports in. This is how you're going to do this. Remember your training. Put four of you adjacent to the monster in teamwork. Damn it! I've already done this! And then attack the monster. Everyone around will help. I... I... Well... Guess I got ahead of myself. Anyway, why is he saying all these things again? We've done this so many times already. He just likes telling people what to do, I guess. The monster will blow up when you do the finishing move. I need the five of you to do it together! Shouldn't we fight the monster before the finishing move? This feels rushed. Our audience won't enjoy it. I don't know why I'm whispering all of a sudden, even though I haven't done it. Blood for the Blood God Ranger. Yes. All right. So I never want to hear you say, I want it that way. That. <laughs> all right, fine. Party attack. All of the attacks. All right, let's just move you there, just in case everybody else can't move into position. Gotta say, I am enjoying this game's style. It feels very similar. There we go. I like the silly whispering. All right, I will continue with the silly whispering when it when appropriate. So this time there's actually a uh, victim. So it actually. All right, there we go. You are so strong. Explended. Now for the grand finale, the huge monster explosion. No. This is ridiculous, and not even a giant robot fight! Hey. The actors just sit in their chairs. We stuntmen do most of the recording. And besides, this is silly. We always record in the studio. We should go outside, see different places. Wait, no, they're actually talking to him. Okay, never mind. Well, whatever, they're whispering to him. Because apparently that's what Sentais do. Or stuntmen. That's because stuntmen don't talk. There we go. Anyway. Uh... Come on, people. Our show is not that bad. I'm listening. Why can't we run around our own very our very own studio? Oh my. That's just the perfect idea. Count me in. What? Are you leaving, Super Rangers? I'm in too. Let's do this. Have fun leading a studio that isn't fun to work at at all, Dr. Mia. Bye-bye, Dr. Mia. Oh, and please stop being so mean to your employees. You can't... 
Bada bing, bada boom. Avengers away. <laughs> at least leave the suits at the door. The stuntmen met a moment later, still dressed in their own old studio's spandex suits. They talked about how they could start their own studio and record their first episode. After a few minutes, an idea popped up. My uncle has a warehouse not far from here. We could use it. Alright, that could be a start. Might be just what we need. Let's go there now. Loving the visual style. It is very Game Boy. God, why isn't this a Game Boy game? I would love this as a Game Boy game. Alright, arriving at the warehouse, everyone got very excited because of the size. And how they could take advantage of all that available space. They were looking around and thinking about camera positions. When someone spotted something. A huge pillar at the very center of the warehouse, covered in some sort of dirty bed sheet. No one knew what was under it. Where are those stunt actors? Oh, there they are. They need to return my studio's spandex suits. But wait, what's that? I'll just keep watching. Then Curiosity knocked at someone's door, and the sheet was removed. Amazing! An incredible replica of a device used in an American Hero TV series. Someone plugged the energy cable, and the machine said its welcome message out loud. beep -de boop -de boop Hello, my name is Sabribro. This is an example message. Type the words into my back display, and I shall text-to-speech them. Everyone's eyes shined. Wow! Let them have those clothes! I know what I actually want them from them now. I'll think of some devious plan. I'm out. Bada bing, bada boom. I like how he runs ninja style with his arms backwards. Anyway, we're just looking for a place to set up our studio and record, but... <laughs> Wait, who is it? What? There's like a paparazzi dude already. Okay, now we have our, have this Cerebro thing to support our story. It's amazing! Yes, this is it. Just ask your uncle for this too. Our future fans will love it. Will do. I think I'll be happy, he'll be happy to lead it, uh, lend us anything, including the warehouse. Hooray, everyone gather your props at home and meet up tomorrow. We have plenty of work to do. Avengers away. So the group of friends decided to take a different path in their lives. Later that day, the clothes were returned to their old boss. And after a few weeks, with a contract ready and signed, they finally have everything ready to start ro recording. Oh wait, no, that's not actually a Cerebro talking. Okay, anyway, new contract. Thousand dollars conditions record season finale after recording four other episodes. This contract will be cancelled if the number of fans is lower than zero. So this is kind of like a game dev sim simulator crossed with a whatever. Uh, let's let let. Uh, shall we what, we? what should we call our studio? Um. Chat. What shall we name ourselves? All right, the Wander Rangers. It is. I could, like, combine it all into one thing. Actually, I like that. So we are now the Wanderangers. Okay. Uh, oh, cool. We can actually uh, create these people. Uh, so what are we going to do with the Wanderangers? Uh, so we'll name this guy. Uh, the... We're going to name this guy the Blood Ranger. Uh, let's see. Can I change? Oh, Doodly. Evan Tyson. Ooh, Evan Tyson. You look like the Blood Ranger. Uh, oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know. I don't know. Gus Foon. Let's see what else we got around here. What care? Ooh, Asmobot. Asmobot. Hmm. We got a lot of people here. He's bound by only two of Asimov's laws. I don't know, guys. I think it's gonna have to be Asmobot. Okay. Ah, uh, what else do we got here? Just because I think uh, Wes Wesley Stripes, cute alien, came from outer space. Von Andy, Antitonic. There's Mr. Beaver. Okay, so I think I think what we're gonna do is go for the as. Li okay, so 
Ah, God, I want Gus Foon, but no, Asmobot has to be that one. All right, so, okay, so it looks like it just pulls from the same one. So who's going to be our assault? I know. Gus Foon is our assault. The Black Ranger. Or the Green Ranger. Nope, I don't know. Pandas are white and black. Our scout. Our scout will be... Mr. Beaver. He's also red. <laughs> That'd be really confusing. Uh, that's... Okay. Black? Brown? Brown red. Red? No, that... Well, he's also red. That's not going to be confusing in the slightest. Let's see if we can... I like that color, actually. Our techie, which will be blue, generically. I should probably actually look at these. Uh, just to see if any of these stats are actually meaningful. Not overwhelmingly. Sort of. Yeah, let's go back to Mr. Beaver. Mr. Beaver. Alright. Uh, let's see, the techie. Uh, let's go for the assist. Assist will be... I don't know. Let, let's go against the grain. Let's have a a uh, female character as our techie. Because why not? So we could have Michonne. Cute. Oh, it's a it's a uh, reference to. It's a uh, it's a reference to. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Um. So this is a reference to Walking Dead. That's cute. A lot of these must be references to things. Let's see. Mecha health. Ah, shoot. Oh, this is a Kickstarter backer. That's adorable. Uh, alien skill, health, no. Also a Kickstarter backer. That's that's cute, I like this. So we do we want add uh, nope. I'd rather have the techie be Somebody useful. Sort of. I think we'll go with Mao, probably. Yeah, let's 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 go with Mao. Okay, so we want we want. So this guy's going to be called Beatings. Beaver's going to be called Will. And you're going to be called Continue. Perfect. And she's got a fan conversion rate. Alright, that's not bad. She's combat. Like, I wouldn't mind to go with the audience booster guy. Oh, shop discount. Kind of useful. Um, hmm. I don't know, I almost want to just go with the blonde chick. Is this- oh no, that's- that's a dude. This guy could also work. Plus 15% audience per episode, but I think the fan conversion rate girl will be a little bit better. And because I like non-traditional color schemes and or I just like purple. Okay, she'll be pur purple and what am I gonna name her? Hmm. So we, we've got the Blood Ranger, Beatings, Will, and Continue and uh... Why? What? <laughs> I... The last one they just want me to name Carl. Carl's a guy's name. Hmm. There's but one solution. We just go with it. Nah. No, I don't I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with uh Art Alert Johansson. That's cute. Um Blasto face puncher. There we go. Very non-traditional woman. Uh done! You're about to confirm your squad setup. There's no turning back for the save game. Perfect! Name her P PMS. No. No, she is Blasto Face Puncher. Alright, so we got $1,000. What are we even doing? Let's go shopping. What can we buy? Comfy suit. Padded suit. Padded suits might not be a bad idea. Skill regen. Uh, attack the gloves might not be bad in 15 health. I don't know, getting a bunch of gloves on people just... Oh, hey. Weapons. Guns! <laughs> just beep, just shoot people to death. Oh, let's see, I do not have money, much money. Let's see what else I can buy here. Oh, what? Episode finances. Okay. So... Uh, salaries are 160, marketing, yeah, uh, expected income. So let's take a look at studio. What can we do? 
Uh, actors get extra, extra stuff, but it is very expensive. Oh, I see. These are like upgrades that you can get for the studio. So, uh, healthcare, bronze, uh, get extra HP, SD camera, audience gain from director's instructions. This might not be a bad idea. Start with uh, audience gain and stuff like that. Uh, so I almost might want to go for like the SD camera and the microphone because it'll be a little bit expensive, but it's probably going to help. Ah, uh, let's see, discount, that's not a bad idea. And we can also go with the bigger studio, which we do not have the money for. Would get us a nice little, nice big old mecha looking thing. Anyway, uh, let's go back to studio. Whoa, hello. Can I change these? All right, so we're going to call the the uh, squad name the... Uh, hmm. I don't know. Ah, oh, damn it. Punch everything. There we go. There we go. Okay, so squad name is punch everything. Uh, transformation is punch harder. Oh, wait, no. Uh, punching time. Punch harder. Uh, let's see. Fisto... Fistobot. There we go. Uh, it's fist. Okay. So the call mecha shout is it's fisting time, and finishing move is. Eh. Perfect. Okay. So we've got uh, we got the Wander Rangers. We've got pun uh, the squad name is Punch Everything. Transformation is Punching Time. Transformation shout is Punch Harder. Mecha name is Fistobot. It's Fisting Time and. Eh. Oh yeah. Whoops. Punching time. There we go. Punch everything. Perfect. Save. Let's go back. Alright, so actors, what can we do? Skills. Okay, active skill. Ego lasso. Whoa, the options. The no oh, season two, season three. Okay, this is interesting. Ah, uh, well we got we don't have to worry about that. So let's let's go to the studio. Let's go with the microphone. Because it doesn't cost too much. Same thing with the SD camera. Because uh, I'd rather I'd rather have like active uh, bonuses like that. Now let's go take a look at shopping, and let's buy. Let's see. So that's thirty-five for fifteen damage. Let's just buy them all gloves. Perfect. Uh, gloves or boots worth it. Boots are probably worth it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't know how much money we're gonna have to worry about, so let, let's just currently outfit them with uh, gloves and boots for the time being. Cheap gloves. Paintball gloves. Do the character's models change at all? Nope, doesn't look like it, alright. Well, that's fine. Oh, interesting. Do we, like, only have one set of uh, weapons? Probably. Here's the question, can I sell these? I have no idea. Anyway, uh... Doesn't bother me too much. I'm really enjoying this game thus far. It looks... It's dopey, but it's cool dopey. And that is... I don't know. It's a nice feeling playing a game like this. Because uh, after Dungeons 2 tonight, it's just like, nah. Needed something fun. Okay. So. Uh, let's see. So everybody's loaded up. We've got one sword and one gun. we got 400, 400 left. This should be fine. So record? Probably, because I don't have any mail. Uh, perfect. Alright, first episode. The pilot episode from your very own series. Today, Chromos God will deal with a new threat that appeared near a science lab. Max audience to 1,800. Location, warehouse of Blue Uncle. Blue's Uncle. Director's instructions, part one and a half. Perform three team acrobatics. Keep all actors above 50% health. That should be easy enough. Start. Okay, season one, episode one. Wow, our first episode! That's awesome! What if our first story was about a group of monsters that tried to rob a science lab? And then I beat up dozens of them. Yeah, great, but hold on, we should add a narrator. Don't start the action yet. Once upon a time, a group of heroes is born. What do you think, the Blood Ranger? Oh, shoot. I wish his name was Blood Ranger instead of THE Blood Ranger. Ah, whatever, it adds, it adds flair. So, I heard that a good plot starts like that. It's good, but it's spelled wrong, isn't it? 
Once up, up time. <laughs> Once up time. Whoops. Oh, the guy who sold us the narrator software told me it's one of their quirks. We should uh, just roll with it. These powerful teenagers are the last hope of humanity. And their first task is to defend a science lab. I don't know if, like, robot... No, let's, let's go with dramatic narrator that can't do English properly. Our first task... And their first task is to defend a science lab from an evil monster. Hmm. But aren't the minions kind of late? Where did they go, Will? I don't know, the Blood Ranger. I don't know, the Blood Ranger. They, uh, they should hurry. What do you say, Blasto Face Puncher? They must be getting dressed. Don't worry. Let's just have fun with our new job. Smiley face. All right, here they come. We'll have lots of editing to do later. Continue action. Noisy noises. <laughs> Squirrel suit people. Cute. I like this. This is... This is doofy. And it's awesome doofy. Hey, you all. Get ready for some action. Let's see. Perform three team acrobatics. Keep all actors. Okay, we know about this. My soft golf, golf announcer voice. That'd be interesting. All right, so first and foremost, three team acrobatics and all actors above X health. You know what? I'm going to plonk him there. We're going to go with teamwork. All right. So we're just going to team acrobatic all of our guys in because it seems like it's more effective. Perfect. Oh, that squirrel is actually fairly tough. Let's see, can I team acrobatic e even further? Nope, looks like it kind of limits me movement-wise. Can I do teamwork? Perfect. Can I... Well, I've already got my three team acrobatics, so I really don't need to do it again. Still, you're going to feel that tomorrow. Oh, shoot. We had uh, punching time loaded up. Ow. It's just a costume wound. Just a costume wound. All right, so I have to watch my health. Ouch, take it easy. Oh, shoot. We might... Oh, wait, no, they're just they're just moving. Perfect. Okay, so here's the problem. She is already kind of injured, which is technically bad. Let's see. So it's punching time. Punch harder! Punch harder. Yes. Okay. So they all transform. Now, oh, that knocks them around. Perfect. That was actually good timing on that part. So can I select you? No. I don't think I'm going to teamwork. Well, can you move there? Oh, that's the end of your turn. Okay. Well, let's beat this guy up. Now, who's the one I have to worry about health-wise? Oh, it heals you. Actually, that's good to know. So... You can actually go around in, like, normal mode for a second and actually be totally okay. So we're going to have you move forward. Oh, hello. We got skills. Multi-shots. Attack all enemies for 80% damage. Range 3. So that's only going to hit him. Oh, shoot. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but whatever. Works fine. Let's just keep beating these guys up. I like this. It's a really... It's actually a semi-complicated strategy game. And that's exactly what I'm looking for here. I was actually kind of worried that it was going to be a little bit on the simplistic side. All right, so everybody's health seems to be fine. Let's let's just beat the tar out of them. Plus 15 on move. Interesting. New item, Play-Doh. Okay. Let's teamwork up here. Okay, so we got Eagle Lasso. Oh, right, he's got two skills. Pull an enemy four tiles away to the closest position adjacent to you. Free action. And also sword. Okay. Is this smart? Actually, cancel. Let's move here. Eagle Lasso. Grab him. Teamwork up. See, he's got a gun. But you know what? We're going to teamwork... This guy. That was a lot of damage. Alright, and she's got... Had she's got Hadoken, which... Oh, heal Doken. Heals a... Ally. Alright, let's heal up con continue. That's cool. So we actually have a healer character, too. Okay. Well, is the last is the last one. Oh, is this the audience bar? Okay. 
So I could have done this a hell of a lot better. Let's move you closer. Stunning pose. This is interesting. Move skills, attacks. Well, I guess this is what happens when I don't, like, even use my skills. So this guy doesn't have anything. That's fine. We're not looking for that. We're finishing moving the last dude because I don't... Why not? Beatings will continue until you lose. <laughs> oh, man. My, my finishing move title is great. Die, squirrel! All right, and there we go, director's instructions. So we didn't get as much, but whatever. After defeating the powerful aliens, while well, the squad was planning what to do next, something devious appears. I love this music. That's an amazing entrance. Transmit to Manser. Transmit Manser. This will be great, keep it up. Punch everything! Why did you have to mess up our visit to the science lab? You will face the consequences, but not right now. I'll come for you later. What were you doing in that lab? It's none of your business. Wow, who is that traffic light guy, and where did he go? Wait, beatings. Are you acting, or are you really lost right now? Oh, come on, Will, I'm acting. Get with the story. Er, okay, I don't know beatings. I can't track it. Oh, er, okay. Well, I don't know beatings, and I can't track it with my scanner. That monster may strike again at any minute now. Cerebro might have something to say. You're right, Blasto Face Puncher. We should go see Cerebro. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. Nice. All right, punch everything. Heads to Cerebro's chambers. They reach uh, the place with glorious teleport effect. Wow, continue. I didn't expect that you could render such a cool background with the chroma key. Me neither. This looks much better than the one I did. Better for us, huh? After everyone explains that the situation... Uh, ev after everyone explains the situation to Cerebro. Why do they want that research data so badly, Cerebro? They believe it is the key for them to unlock the power of time travel. This is not a power that anyone should have. Now return to your previous location. I'm detecting a new threat. Cerebro and Gulf voice. Sorry. It is impressive to see the Cerebro device working. Poof, 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 poof. Yeah. Punch everything. Heads back. The teleport effect is not ready yet. To the scene running. <laughs> this, is the so, this is the tackiest game ever. It's awesome. Where are the monsters? Can't wait to use my special poses. What? I'm late. How deep are we into the episode? Deep enough. You're so late, boxing box. This won't happen again. I'm sorry. Back to our lines. Then I'll, uh, then. I'll turn you into cardboard. Don't get me wrong, beatings. I'm cardboard. Minions, join me! Now here's the question. Is cardboard boxer wearing pants? I actually can't tell. Ready to serve, boss. Watch out! Alright, so defeat the boss monster with the finishing move, defeat all minions before attacking the boss monster. Oh, so I actually, my audience bar is transferred over. So he's got stunning pose. Stuns adjacent mo minions and daze adjacent bosses. Okay, so you know what, let's just beat this guy up. Because I can use the stunning stuff along the way. I will never give up. Beatings. Oh, right, he does more damage. Okay. Let's get you closer. Grab him up. Ego lasso. Here's the question. Can you use that sword? Oh, it's got a cooldown. Well, no sword for me. And we get a new item. Cl cotton. Cool. Here's the question. Can you gun? Nope, can't gun. Can't multi-shot either. Alright, so instead, teamwork. That is not enough teamwork. Well, whatever. We're teamworking anyway. Boink. Can we heal Doken anybody? No! Blood Ranger, maybe. I don't know. Blood Ranger might be injured. Apparently, Blood Ranger is actually fairly healthy. I guess he's tough. Why wouldn't the the main character be the tough man? Ow. What a dick. Oh, you get a counter. 
My defenses are impregnable. Question mark, question mark, what that squirrel dude said. All right, squad's turn. So we have these guys. Let's move him here. Let's stun. Stunning pose! So that stuns and or dazes. Let's beat this guy. Pro oh, should have actually done a, a team fight. All right. Let's move you over. Just wipe this guy out. Actually, the Black Ranger would have probably been okay. Whatever. Multi-shot. Oh, that actually takes one out. Perfect. All right. I'm not regretting my actions here. I'm regretting them a little bit. Could have done that more efficiently. But you know what? Whatever. Super punch. Ow. All right. So I don't have to worry about... Okay. Defeat all minions before attacking the boss monster. Here's the question. Uh, does what I did... What I... Does what I did just count? I don't even know. Oh, either way. So how much health does he have? Quite a lot. Let's get in there with the sword strikes. We're gonna want to finish him off with the... We're gonna want to finish him up. Oh, he's got a counter. Ow. Oh, finish it. Perfect. Uh, we'll do that on the next one. I'm gonna take him down a little bit more. Plus, we get major, major points for doing this. Here's the question. Does he only, does he only get one counter? I have no idea. Enemy's turn. Perfect. Okay, now everybody's in position. Let's do this. Teamwork. 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 Battle. Teamwork. Finishing move. Eh. 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 I need like a reverb on, reverb on that one. Did I take him out? Defeat boss monster with the finishing move and defeat all minions before attacking the boss monster. Perfect. All right, ah, I've been recycled. <laughs> Poof. But what about the transmitomancer? Monsters always come back when they fail in the first try. It'll show up soon enough, Will. And when it comes back, we will be here to stop it. To be continued. Well done, everyone. This episode should make quite a splash in the community. Loading. Please wait. All right, so that's a wrap. I got, I missed 37 people out of a maximum of 2,800. That's a pretty good episode, honestly, as far as I'm concerned. I probably would have gotten it if I'd actually bothered to use skills in the first section of the episode, but still. <laughs> that's not a noise I want to hear. Uh, away from the computer from Wander. Cute. All right, so we got a bunch of duct tape, Play-Doh, and cotton. And audience converter. We got money. And fans. Sweet. So we get uh, $531 and 83, so we can confer, uh, can compare it. So, Gus Foon, this was perfect. Punch everything. Oh man, hashtag punch everything, that's awesome. Rob Zwet Sloot. Yes, we waited so long for the season to start. Sob, sob. So Gus Foon is actually our panda man, I think. Uh, Grant Shipcott, punch harder. Amazing finishing move, Wander Rangers. Wander Rangers. Uh, Danny Scullion, a whole new season of Punch Everything to watch. My weekends are saved. All right. Game is being saved. Do not turn off your device. Adorable. All right, so crafting. What can we craft? Uh, we can craft decorated gloves. Interesting. So it requires duct tape and that. We get 5% counter and random properties. Uh, bucket helmet. Can't afford it. Homemade suit. Cool. Fake boots. Or weapons. Can't make any of these. Okay, whatever. Material. Oh, hey, I can craft these, though, with cotton. Here's the question. Don't have nearly enough. I can also recycle. Oh, I can recycle. All right, so all of this stuff we can just recycle, because I have no use for, like, all of these basic resources. Well, I have no use for these basic equipment, because I I have already replaced them. Wow. So we're actually getting a lot of res uh, equipment here. Perfect. Might have actually made sense to get a uh, a crafter type character along the way, but you know what? Whatever. Maybe maybe for uh, try number two with harder difficulty or something like that. So honestly, this is awesome. I don't want to buy. Oh, common material pack for two hundred dollars. Let's see what I can do without. So I can't make any of that. Oh wait, I could make leather. Might nope. Bello crafting. That might not be a bad idea, but let's let's focus on weapons for the time being. I'd like to get one more gun. And swords. We don't have a whole lot of Play-Doh. How much can I make? I can't make any Play-Doh. Okay, so these are these are the materials that need to be made. Okay. I could make fake boots. I got a lot of all of this stuff. 
So it's not a bad idea. Okay, let's go to materials. Uh, let's create some leather. Leather. Alright, how many of these can I make? Two? That's perfect. Alright, so let's let's give that to him. Let's craft another. I might make a third. Give that to him. Uh, let me think. Weapon-wise, we're going to need more Play-Doh. Probably more swords? Uh, so that's a cardboard sword. 40 weapon damage, 40 cooldown cost, 30. Let's go back. I want to take a look at uh, shop. Because how good is the toy sword? 12 attack, 40 weapon damage. Okay, so it might actually be better to buy the toy swords. I've got to, you can see the characters running around in the background. Because, yeah, this doesn't actually have an attack bonus. That's weapon damage. So it wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's buy one Play-Doh. Oh. Well, I might as well buy these. I'm going to need them along the way. Oh. Oh, I see. It's like a, it's like a randomly... Okay, that's interesting. Well, whatever. Okay, and we'll give that to... So she's the techie. She's already got one. Clay gun. Cute. Okay. So I'd like to, at the very least, equip everybody with stuff. So we've got... Let's go to equipment. So he's got the, he's got the sword. He's got a toy sword. He doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anything. She's got a toy pistol. She's got a clay gun. Okay, so we need two swords. That should be easy enough. Uh, and then suit-wise, I probably can wait a little while longer. Oh, do they only have one? Oh, I see. Oh, there we go. Now we got three swords. Uh, let's go to actors. I kind of wish you could actually, like, load up more, but, eh, yeah, whatever, it doesn't bother me that much. So, toy sword. Toy sword. Awesome. The entire team is loaded out fairly well. The improvised suit probably should get replaced next. Might as well, I don't have much money left, so let's take a look at studio upgrades. Uh, we don't need the extra HP. Crafting rate might have been a good idea. That's, uh, I don't have enough money for that. And shop, yeah, no, can't afford any of that stuff. Studio options. I'm not changing any of those. Okay, let's go back. So in this case, uh, let's take a look at the next episode prices. Alright, so... Apparently, uh, it's going to cost me a fair amount of money at this point, so I'm not going to spend any more, just in case I do like really stupid things, but it's probably not going to happen. So overall, uh, next episode should go off with the itch. I'm pretty good at these games anyway. So, I will actually see you guys on the next episode of Chroma Squad, where we will continue this kind of shenanigans, because this is fun. This is really fun. This is actually probably one of the better games I've played um, all year. At least I'm hoping as much. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Chroma Squad. And as always, thanks for watching.